people will ask questions. Even after all of this time, people will ask questions about how you gonna move all these black people over to Africa? Who's gonna give us land in Africa? Um, <laughs> why you ain't on the continent now? All this, all this stupid shit. All this mouth breather shit. So what I wanted to do, just put a definitive stamp on this so that people know exactly where we're coming from. The title of this um, live stream is called, It's a Base of Operations, You Morons. The reason why I have to say that is because, and keep in mind, listen, this is one of those deals where, you know that, that old saying, if you throw a rock into a pile of dogs, the only one that yelps is the one that got hit. I'm quite sure y'all know that I'm not talking to my regular audience. I'm not talking to the people who know what time it is. I'm talking to the people that's disingenuous pricks. I'm talking to the Captain America Negroes. I'm talking to the um, militant integrationists and the Black Power Americans. The people who know what we're talking about but want to pretend like they don't fucking know and keep coming up with these damn straw men that we have to keep addressing every time we have a conversation. Base of operations. I like making sports analogies. I like making analogies that people can understand so that they wait, that way they can not pretend like they don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. If the Giants are going to play, let's say, the Patriots and they just got whooped by the Patriots, and if we played the Patriots, we'd probably get beat even worse. The Giants have to have a base of operations in which they can prepare to play the Patriots. You feel me? If you are going to face any opponent, you got to have a space where you can prepare. And the space that you prepare in can't be your fucking opponent's space. Unless, of course, you already have a team. If you already have a, a, an organized team, then yeah, you could probably prepare in a foreign space because you're already a cohesive unit. But I'm talking about if you haven't even organized. You haven't even come together as a team. And yet, you want to go and face an opponent and beat an opponent without having any type of base of operations for you to do some planning, for you to do training, for you to do all of that shit. Or pretending like they don't understand what a base of operations is. You don't know what a base of operations is. You think that we're trying to take... 45 to 50 million African people, black people here in America, put them on boats and take them over to the continent. Really? Name one fucking black nationalist or one African Senate progressive that ever said something like that, that ever preached that type of a policy. See, this is what you guys don't understand. And this is why I, I labeled the, um, the, the title of this um, live stream. It's a base of operations, you fucking morons. You are not going to establish a power base in America, you fucking idiot. I'm not even going to get into why. That's going to have to be another live stream. And you should actually be, you're like a mouth-breathing, drooling moron if you think that you're going to develop a base of operations in your enemy's land. So I'm not even going to get into the why that's not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. If you want to know why, go through about the endless amount of videos that I've done on the topic, you fucking idiot. Yeah, this is going to be some really disrespectful shit this Saturday. This is going to be some real disrespectful shit. So if you are Captain America Negro, if you're a militant integrationist, if you're a so-called black power American, whatever the fuck that is, you're going to be highly disrespected. Get the fuck off my channel, you bitch. Bitch ass niggas. Y'all love jocking my channel because you ain't got no energy on your own. 
pro-black. You don't even know what the fuck pro-black means. I asked the stupid ass nigga, what does pro-black mean? Oh, it means being we want to be successful without any um, dealing with Caribbeans, without any dealing with Africans or anybody else. And my, my sister, um, I am Lucy, put it best on the live stream, nigga, that ain't black power. And then I asked, well, what's success? And niggas claim that I'm not answering questions. I never got an answer to that question. What is success in the mind of a pro-black um, American? What's success? I never get a, a, a solid answer to that. And you know why? Because these niggas never think in terms of the collective. They only think in terms of themselves. So when they think success, they think themselves personally successful. And I even question that. How are you going to be personal? Well, you can. This is America. If you don't give a fuck about anybody but yourself, you can be quite successful in America. But then the question becomes, then why are you involved in collective conversations? Why are you jocking Africans? Why are you jocking nationalism, land, infrastructure, nationhood? Why are you in these forums if you're about being successful for yourself? Just be a fucking American. Problem solved. You don't have to get involved in any of this back to Africa, national, nationhood, all this bullshit. You don't have to get involved in that. Just be an American. Drop all your pseudo cultural pretensions. Drop all your pro black bullshit. Put your hand on your heart. Salute the flag and be an American. That's one thing. The Captain America Negro who don't want nothing to do with Africa, don't want nothing to do with black people, who just wants to be an American, he's the one that's the most consistent between the three. That's why I don't really talk about him that much. I don't really talk about Captain America Negroes that much. I talk about the militant integrationists and the black power Americans because they're the ones that's filled the most contradictions. They love America and they hate it at the same time. They love white people and they hate them at the same time. They don't want to be an American, but they want to be in America. They don't want to smoke crack, but they want to be in the, in the crack house. And then they got the nerve to talk about the contradictions of somebody else. You live in right here in the place that you claim is your homeland. So where's your base of operations? Last time, well, I wouldn't even say that's a base of operations, but you had a good start in um, Tulsa, Black Wall Street. At least it was the development of a community. And what happened to it? What happened to it? You got burned to the fucking ground. Now, that's not to say that you shouldn't try again. Because I'm, I'm a firm believer that when you fail, you're supposed to learn something from your failure so that you don't make the same mistakes twice. So where's your um, Black Wall Street 2.0? Where's your militant integrationist Black Power American dirt road? Where's your militant integrationist Black Power American political party? Where's your militant integrationist, Black Power American community? Where is your base of operations inside of America? Since you claim that we shouldn't have one in Africa, then where's yours in America? And you want to talk about somebody else not doing shit? Really? You want to talk about the, the what's the time frame on what it takes for you to build a dirt road here in this country? Because it's going on 500 years. What socioeconomic and political control do you have here in America? Are you planning on getting it? What's the time frame on that before you start questioning somebody else on what they're doing in Africa? You boot licking, butt kissing nigga. See, the problem is, I know why y'all don't like me. I know why you don't like me. And Lucy put it best. 
the reason why you don't like what I'm saying is because it's nothing worse than when a bitch ass nigga gets called a bitch ass nigga. What you want me to do is sit here and sugarcoat you and make you pretend make and you want me to pretend like you a man. You want me to pretend like you somebody that should be respected. Nigga, you a bitch. If you're not trying to get socioeconomic and political power, then you are a fucking bitch. And then you you talk about a bitch, you a bitch squared if you're trying to fight against a black man who's trying to do that. What's your solution? Because this is how it's supposed to go. I'm going to tell you exactly how it's supposed to go. There's only one option left for us. There's only one option left. We have got to build a base of operations and we cannot build it in America. Now we can build it on the continent. And like I said, it's another live stream because the next question, you know, mouth breathers and, and fucking idiots are going to ask, well, who going to give us land? Nigga, nobody's giving us anything. Why is it that, and, and I know why, this is a rhetorical question. The reason why you think somebody has to give us land is because you don't think you have any value. You don't think that you're coming to the table with something. You think you're going to Africa with a hat in your hand. Basically, you think you're going to do the same thing in Africa that you're doing right here in America, which is fucking nothing. Or begging and pleading for the people in power to give you something. Cut the check, remember? Why don't you cut the check? If this is your fucking country, why are you asking for the check to be cut? Shouldn't you be cutting the check? I thought this was your home. I thought this was your country. I thought this was your land. I thought that you controlled this shit. As a matter of fact, not only do you control America, you control the fucking universe. That's what I heard. <clears throat> it's funny how you control the universe, but you got to ask the white man to cut a check. You bunch of fucking pathetic, sorry ass, weak ass black men. And I'm talking to the men. I ain't even got, you know, let the sisters deal with the sisters. I'm talking to the so-called black men who calling themselves black power. Nigga, you a bitch. And if you think that I'm going to sit here and pretend that I'm dealing with a man, that I'm going to have a conversation with you and we're going to have like we equals. No, nigga, you a bitch. And I'm going to talk to you like a bitch until you man the fuck up. And all it takes to man the fuck up is say, you know what? Yo, man, you right. You right. We definitely got to have a nation of our own. That's it. That's it. There ain't no fucking Rubik's Cube. To mount any type of offensive against anybody. We got to first gather our resources, get together amongst ourselves. <coughs> Yo, what's up, Fatty Black? What's up, Dawood? I'm sorry, I'm just rambling. What's up, African first, Congolese second? What's up, Monsieur Mohammed? What's up, Dr. Killamassa Logs? What's up? Oh, <laughs> Chima. I think I said it right. Chima. What's up, Dave um, East? Chima. I saw that video. <laughs> you got somebody who's given an explanation of infrastructure. That's the same damn definition that we gave. And then acting like they dropped the mic. All you did was go to the dictionary or go online and give the exact same definition we already know. And I don't want to touch on this too much because my, my boy, Minister DeWood, is going to tear that ass up. So I'm going to leave some of that ass for him. But I'll just say that. You fucking stupid ass nigga, you thinking about you giving a dictionary definition of infrastructure that you dropped the mic as if we didn't already know that? But I'm gonna leave that, I'm gonna leave that to um <laughs> to Wood. I'm not gonna step on his toes because he wants to handle that. 
peace, Kenya, the king. Oh, man, these fucking trolls. They love me, man. All of y'all niggas is on my dick. And the reason why you're on my dick is because I'm calling you out for what you are. Return of the brother, Junior, you are a bitch. And if I saw you in person, I slapped the shit out of you. And you know what you do? Nothing. You do the same thing that you're doing in America. Absolutely nothing. Getting disrespected. You ain't got the gumption or the balls to hit back. Something, daughter. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm not trying to deal with these dudes. Block When you see them um, say some stupid ass shit, block them. Get them out of there. Because <clears throat> all they're doing is distracting us and getting away from the point. And the point is this. Base of operations is all black nationalists and African Senate progressives are asking for. That's all we're trying to create, a base of operations. We are not asking for every black person to get on a boat and go to Africa. As a matter of fact, the vast majority of black people are going to remain in America. We've said that 20,000 times, 20 trillion times, and it makes no difference because these niggas will still use it as a straw man. Nobody's asking for everybody to go to Africa. What we're saying is you got to have your base of operations, and it makes the most sense that your base of operations should be off of American soil where you are out of their jurisdiction and you can control your own social, economic, and political environment. Do you understand that, you fucking morons? Are you trying to think? Or try to convince our people that you're going to mount some type of offensive here in America. I think that damn. So who who pissed you off today? <laughs> nah, man. It's just I, I was just getting tired of these. It's like why is it we we have been explaining the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over again, and yet we still keep getting the same dumbass um talking points and questions posed to us. You know what I think it is, bro? I think that um, because we're going to address this in the in the broadcast called Patreon Puppets. And I think I'm going to do that later. But I think that people see that we are the only viable organization out there right now. And they're trying to build a name off of us. Well, excuse me, one of the only. I don't want to be arrogant and say we're the only, but one of the only really viable organizations. So instead of really trying to solve the problem, they're trying to build a following that they could charge money for off of us. It, it ain't really that they are for the people or anything like that. Because if they really was for the people, they would be trying to collaborate with as many people as they can. So what they try to do is they try to find somebody that's making a little bit of sense and then just go the exact opposite way with no, no, no scientific base or any kind of reality base for their object or objections. They're just basically trying to build a following by going the opposite way of what we're saying. Excuse me for one second. Do I have sure. moderators? Are there any moderators? Because I can't see the live. I can't see the live thing. Is there anybody moderating? Can you please delete these motherfuckers? Then that is a, a, a moderator that I saw, as well as Moshir. Okay. So those two brothers can basically do, uh, get rid of those those people. Okay. Good. Good. Because I'm, I'm sorry if I'm sorry if y'all doing that and I can't see it because I'm on the stream yard. I'm not on the on the YouTube, so I'm apologize for that. Go yeah, on, go on, sir. No, so that that that's just basically my 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 um that's my take on the whole thing is I think that they're trying to build a following off of us because if you notice, most of these people have never gone to our website, they've never listened to our videos, they're saying stuff that we've been saying since 2012. So you're like you niggas like you, you didn't catch up. You didn't find out what we and, and that to me, I, I'll say this and I'll be very honest. I had said this to somebody else. I said the only thing I miss from the conscious community is when somebody decided to come after you, at least they 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 studied what you believed in. Mm -hmm. These people now from the woke movement, you don't have to know what somebody believes in. You can just take shots at them and let the shit fall where it may. And then when somebody like like that other dumbass chick. That not the one that with the infrastructure, but the other one with the video talking about, well, let me just say this to you guys. And maybe it's because you guys don't have women in your organization. Eh, wrong. And she goes, <laughs> she goes, maybe if you had infrastructure in Africa, you wouldn't be able to maintain it because you don't have the qualified individuals to maintain it. You dumb. What? Chick. That's what the, yo, that's what that chick said, son. 
That's what she said. Oh, the, you know what the problem is, man? I think, I think the problem is that we are, we're having an electrician conversation and motherfucking plumbers are trying to inject. <laughs> Word. <laughs> yep. You, if you, you got dudes, like I said, if you say stem to these same dudes, they think you're talking about weed. That's they shouldn't be in the conversation. <laughs> you're a fucking right. moron. You're a mouth breather. And that's the reason why they hate my guts, because I just call them that. That's what you are. I'm not going to sit up there and pretend that you my brother or you a king. I'm not doing that dumb shit. You are fucking, you are the reason why we still stuck here going on to year 500. And I'm right. supposed to sit up here and pretend like we all we all want the same. If I hear one more fucking person tell me that we all want the same thing, I'm going to fucking lose it. Yeah, no, we don't. How can you have a whole bunch of people wanting the same thing and nothing gets fucking done? Right. Yep. There is no, we don't all want the same thing. We don't all, not everybody that's talking that black stuff is interested in land, infrastructure, nationhood. And I'm trying to get my people to understand that. Right. Yep. But I think anybody that's, anybody can get up and say some black shit. Like, all right, I'll give you a perfect example. Killer Mike. Killer Mike, yep. and I like Killer Mike. Don't don't get me wrong. I don't like I don't disrespect the brother. I I like what he's about. But that nigga is not for land infrastructure nationhood on the continent. No, he's not. Not at, all. not at all. Despite all the black talk, despite all of the the preaching and the testifying and all that shit, he's not for L I N. No. Nope. So why am I? I'm going to sit up there and pretend. Oh well, let me let's let's connect with Mike because Mike Mike man, get the fuck out of here. I've been through this before, man. <laughs> I know how this goes. Where is <laughs> Tariq Tariq Nasheed? Oh, he's 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 really deep. So maybe we can go to him. I'm like get the fuck out of here. dudes. Are you not paying attention to what's fucking going on? Right. If these people was about nationhood, there would be no BAIO. Right. The BAIO would not exist. If these people all wanted to say, and I've heard this, and I won't say any names, but you know the people I'm talking about. Uh huh. Talking this, oh, yeah, we all want the same thing, brother. You know, da 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 da. No, we fucking don't. Nope. 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 And the vast majority, and I'll go so far as to say that the vast majority of us, and if you were to put this whole culture conscious community together, 95% want to stay here in America. Hell yeah. 95% want to have a nation within a nation. It's probably higher than that, bro. Yeah, it's probably 97, 98. Like I said, yeah. we just start. We need to stop calling ourselves five percenters and start calling ourselves two percenters or two and a half yeah. percenters. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! And the, there's not know, a huge demographic of people that want nationhood on the continent and want to have our own land. Go ahead, brother. I'm sorry. No, it's all good. It's all good. The sad part about it is, is that, like I have been saying for the longest time, these people get triggered by the idea of building on the continent. And they don't understand that they're not hearing what we're saying. All they hear when we say continent is what they've been programmed with for the last 20, 30 years from, from the Black Power movement. So in other words, you think you hear somebody saying to you that we need to be one with the universe, have daishikis on, all this other stuff. None of us are saying that shit. But that's what you think you hear because that's all you've heard. Because anytime you hear the continent, your mind automatically goes to your programming. And to me, that is very, very important for people to understand. You should really um, investigate what somebody is saying before you denounce it. Because to me, and I think that that's the key to, to what we're saying now. I don't think that a lot of these people that come against us really know really what the fuck we're talking about. Because if they did, they wouldn't say a lot of the stupid shit that they say. So in other words, they'll say... Oh, you know, you guys, it's the same thing. You guys trying to bring everybody. Nobody ever said we was trying to bring everybody there. Oh, well, you guys think that we should repatriate. Who the fuck said that? So it's like, <laughs> it's almost like they take what we say, but their mind, their programming overrides what's really being said and rewrites an algorithm that says, no, this is the same shit that y'all been hearing for years. And, and I, I think it's intentional. That. I think it's intentional, man. I think that because they know 
And the reason why, like, if you notice that the attacks are increasing, like, let's look at this video. Look at the amount of dislikes on this video. Oh, there's dislikes already? Yeah, just look at the, the, the amount of attacks are increasing because the solution is there, man. It's there. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I mean, what is the what is the counter to it? If you're saying that we shouldn't have our own nation, if what you're basically saying is that we're supposed to be under the socioeconomic and political boot of white people forever, perpetually. Yep. 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 And then and who's going to save you from that? And who's going to follow that? Like, who's following these people? Right. Your whole position is that we can't, like the girl who, who was um, giving the explanation of infrastructure, her whole position is infrastructure is for white people. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was retarded. <laughs> infrastructure is for white people. Y'all niggas talking about infrastructure. You're talking about having your own roads and highways. How are you going to build roads and highways? How can I even have a conversation? That's, like that's like me having a conversation with somebody saying, how can one plus one be two? Y'all niggas is crazy. Word. You know, and then she says, she goes, um, she goes, I ain't seen nobody with bread for infrastructure. You got bread for that? Remember she said that? Yeah, who is she talking to? <laughs> was she talking to an individual? Do a, all right, so me Hollop has to have a road. <laughs> yep. I mean, how fucking stupid are these people? And that's the reason why I did this live stream. I'm just tired of dumb niggas. Like the ones who stomach down this video and the ones who's jumping into this live stream. Dumbass niggas. And I swear I wish that I could meet them. Because I, 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 like, I know that Patrick and them, they do some sparring and him and Deontay. I would love to just re unleash some aggression on these dumbass niggas. <laughs> it, w it would not be worth it, though. It really wouldn't. Because once you, you pounded them, then they would have that, that sorry look on their face. Like, why me? Yeah, I didn't know it was this serious. They wouldn't even fight me. They run away. Word. They run away. <laughs> they do. So, they do this. I, I like. I don't have no fear of Negroes here in America because what you gonna be? You gonna turn into a bitch with the white man, and then now all of a sudden you gonna hulk up with me? You right. gonna do the Hulk Hogan? <clears throat> <laughs> so, so let me ask you this. Um, the current narrative that I've seen on social media angry now because um, what's called information is being released that this Amber Geiger chick actually was screwing the dude that she murdered. And to some degree... That's what people thought. Huh? That's what people, like, people were saying that when the whole thing happened. So now it's got, they got proof now? Yeah, apparently they got credible evidence. Like there's pictures and, and, and other stuff like that. Like son had something to do with her. And so so it was dying down and then the pictures came out and kind of refreshed everything. You know what I'm saying? So so it's sort of like now people have something more to talk about with this. But the thing is, we all knew she wasn't gonna get no time. She so, still might not. Don't you ever hit me. Not what? She still might not. She might she might get time served, especially when you're dealing with the family. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't know right. I, I think because she has an appeal going, right? Hello? Um, Hello? I have no idea. Yeah, she does. She has an appeal going. Like apparently she's got an appeal going. And um, like I think the police union's behind her, so many people think that her days in that jail is numbered. You know, and with the with the whole corrupt judge situation, it's almost laughable. This whole shit. I was gonna do. Or I'm I'm still supposed to do a show called Forgiveness, and I think that you know when when things like this happen, I just see a lot of people taking and taking this to push their own narrative. You know what I'm saying? So in other words, people take these kind of things. And they used it to push their own kind of narcissistic narrative. So they would say, like, well, this is why, you know, forgiveness is not African. Forgive what are you talking about, yo? You know what I'm saying? Like, like I just I just see stuff like this. No, I don't think that the judge, the fucking brother, or the mother should forgive homegirl 
but forgiveness is something indigenous to us. And it's definitely something that we ourselves, you know what I mean? Like, like the, uh, we as black people, we are the foremost in that kind of thing. However, people are using it to, to, to push their own narrative. And now it's become like an ambulance chasing situation where people are building a narrative because of the, of the forget. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, they're, they're like building a narrative off the whole thing. And it's almost to me like these kind of things when they come up, sometimes I, I, I do kind of follow the conspiracy theorists because I think it's used as social program. You know what I'm saying? Not, not to say that homegirl killing dude was fake, but just the way that it's portrayed on social media leads people in one direction or in another direction. And for myself, when I look at that, I try to stay quiet about a lot of this stuff because I don't want to be mentally controlled. So mm -hmm. in my mind, I knew she wasn't going to get no time and I knew people would be disappointed. So I didn't get my hopes up high. But when it happened, a lot of people, it felt like it, it just seemed to me like a lot of people got disappointed by this whole thing because they really expected America to do right by us. And I think that that kind of ties in to why we have like 97 percent of people who want to stay right here. Let me ask you all something. This dude is in the chat room as Natural Hootie. But then somebody's in my my queue as Alawam Shabbat. What do you think I should do? I'll let the chat decide. Nico, you know how it is, man. <laughs> Bitch ass niggas don't like being called bitch ass niggas. Dundada, what do you think I should do? Why, why are you on one name in the chat room and a totally different name on the thing? That's what this dude, um, Al Coon, did. Okay, no problem. <clears throat> Hello? Oh, yes. Uh, how are you doing uh, today, brother? Who is this? Alawam, natural hoodie. Hmm. Okay. So how are you doing today, brother? Not too good. Oh, right, what's going on? I'm dealing with bootlicking Negroes and um, <laughs> Captain America Negroes, militant integrationists, black men who's punks who want to fight against um, me who wants a nation. You know, they would much rather live here and be the wives of white men. You know, stuff like that. Not, nothing. Yeah, nothing I, I, that. I, I really hate those kind of people myself. You know, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a, sure you do. I'm a strong believer in. When someone says that they're going to do something or they're interested in doing it, they need to do it instead of just talking about it for 20 years or a thousand years because I obviously like 499, right? Right. Things will never right. get done in that regard. Uh, if you're going to sell drugs, don't keep talking about what you're going to do and how you're going to get to do it, whatever you're going to do with the proceeds. Get to it. Get busy. Right. Then, how's that? How's that GoFundMe coming? Uh, I don't know about GoFundMe, but how's the trip to Africa going? Oh, it's going great. I'll be there in November. Oh, oh, November. Okay, so yeah. you have a one-way ticket how's your, there. How's your go? How's your GoFundMe going though? You got that fifty thousand yet? Uh, no, not not quite. Wow. What do you need to? Let, just out of curiosity, what do you need the the fifty thousand for? Since you called the well, BAIO a GoFundMe organization and you have a GoFundMe account, could you please explain that? Well, actually, the GoFundMe account is really defunct, truth be told. Really? What so happened? It's now, it's, now, it's now Cash App. You mean you didn't do what you intended to do? No, I didn't get what I intended to get. Wow. I thought that was something you were against. 
No, I never said that. I said I'm against people like the Michi X's and other people who get money who, and don't do anything with it. Huh? Who are these people? I don't know who you're talking about. Uh, okay, well, these are coons. That's who these people oh, are. Oh, you know what? And of course, I know who the fuck you are. But you know, <laughs> which shows what type of nigga you are. Yeah, but that's but the, the only thing I can guy get that, The guy that you was talking about is a mental patient. Oh, yeah. That's the guy that you... <laughs> <laughs> so you you having a discussion with mental patients? Hey, the guy's been harassing that's, me. That's the guy that's your opponent? No, he's not my opponent. He's been harassing the hell out of me for the longest time. So block he, him. It, well, I do. He keeps making a million and one channels. Wow, that sounds familiar. <laughs> but this guy... You mean somebody? You mean somebody's doing to you that you, what you do to everybody else? <laughs> no, I don't do that to everybody else. But really? I do make other channels because people are so scared. You know, they don't want to yeah, talk. You, you really are a terrifying dude. It, well, well, apparently asking a few questions terrifies the hell out of a lot of people. Right. So, again, so you go going to give me, give me some more scary questions like the why are you ain't in Africa question. Could you give me some uh, more scary ones like that? I, I, I'll try to see what I can come up with. Uh, go so, you go, so you go going to Africa in November. That's what mm -hmm. you said? Yeah. And, and uh, what country are you going to? I'm going to Rwanda. Okay. Now, is that a one-way ticket? Or is that just a visit? That's the visit. Okay. So you're acting, are you visiting as a tourist or as a spectator or speculator to set up shop there? Set up shop where? In Rwanda? No. Yes. Oh, so you're just going there just to see the sites and whatnot? Nope. Uh, business? Yep. Okay. Uh, okay, so some other kind of business. So... When is the BAIO moving to Africa to set up shop? I'll be honest with you. Like that Mississippi guy, I need to see people do what they claim, set up shop, set it off. Then that will attract people like me because I'll say, uh oh, these people are for real. Let me get down with it. Really? Yes. You know how it is. When people see the ball rolling, people get with it. When they don't yeah, see they, it, they don't get with it. Yeah, they call strap hangers. Well, I mean, they call, they call dick riders. Well, yeah, whatever. I, I, I know. I know that. I know. Yeah, but whatever people. they're called, that's how it usually works. You know. So I thought that you said you were a black power American and that you didn't give a shit about Africa and that you didn't care about Caribbeans or continental Africans or anything else. So now you're sitting there telling me that because the BAIO establishes some type of base on the continent, you're going to go? Well, I so never you're said change, any... You're going to change your complete ideology and now you're going to care about Africa? Well, I never said any of those things. I said that the Caribbean is our problem, Black America's problem, because they work hand in hand with the white man, but they are very close to us and they're the ones disrupting our world. That's after careful analysis over years. The African, they don't care about us. They're not trying to get into our world. So that's why you never see them living with us. They don't care about us. But it's the Caribbean who keeps forcing themselves on us. But yes, to answer your question, if I saw you guys building something in Africa and it was viable, I would get down with it. I can give uh, credit to Israelites, at least. At least some of them will go to Israel and set up shop. I can give they it up to them for that. Shop in Israel. No, no, they they go there. They they set up shop. Yeah, they go in there. There's people going to Ghana. Who gives a fuck if you just go? You're not. They're not setting up any nationhood. They still living under the socioeconomic and political infrastructure of somebody else. They just changed a white man for an African continental African. Well then, see, well, well, no, they're in Israel. But yeah. see, that's what, and that's, what are they? They don't have zero power in Israel. Hey, but they have their own community. Living as second class citizens. Yeah, but they're basically Sound on their own. familiar? Sound familiar? But see, wouldn't that be the case if some people move to Africa or Mississippi? Because wouldn't you're not going to take over the military. What? Wouldn't that be the case with what? Like, I'm trying to figure out where you're going. If you packed up and moved to Africa, or is an African country just going to say, okay, yeah, you could do this. You could uh, form your own 
country. When you say you go pack up and move to Africa, who are you talking about? Well, any of the many groups who want to do that. So if so they go to Africa, person. under what context would they be going to Africa? Well, I mean, people claim that they want nationhood, land, infrastructure. Right. Obviously, that's the formation of not only a nation, but a country. Right. So you can't expect another country to just say, here, take some land, form your own country within our country. Oh, that's never happened before. Yeah, that's not that's not going to happen. No, that's <laughs> never happened before. And it's not going to happen. It's never happened before, right? Right, and it's not going to happen. So you're saying that never happened before? I'm saying it has not Are happened. you that ignorant? The Kurds are searching for a country. They have a nation, but they don't have a country. Where's their country? Nobody's giving them land. You're telling me. <laughs> You're telling me that no one has ever established a country in another land. That's what you're telling me? No. I said no one has ever established another country in another country. Really? Right. <laughs> now, maybe I could okay. be wrong. Educate me. You ever, heard, you ever heard of Liberia? That's another country, but it's not. You just said that Bahama? nobody has ever established another country in a country. What, what country is Liberia in? What's the difference between a country and a nation? A nation is the people. A country is the land. Yeah. See, I don't talk out of my ass. I know what I'm talking about. See, I'm just what... trying to hold back my laughter. I'm sorry. Hey, no, I, I understand. I understand. But tell me what country Liberia is located in. If what you say is true. So Liberia is a country, right? Right. How? What was um, the land before they called it Liberia? No, it, it, the land is Africa. No, 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 nigga. Come on. Stop Hold playing on. games. It, here, Stop here's playing the thing. games. No, I asked you a direct question. No, I'm asking you a direct but you, question. You didn't answer. I'm asking you a direct question. But, but you don't didn't say the land the is Africa. Africa is a continent. See, see, what was the land? Before they named it Liberia. See, black people it? do this a lot. When they're challenged and they want to be right, they try to move the This is what post. you call projecting. Since we're going to do this, I'm going to give you what you're giving me. You're projecting because you don't want to answer the no, question. I, that you're I scared. Answer. I, actually, you're scared to you, answer the question because you I know you're going to reveal you a, yourself when you do. I is that the reason question. why you're going on this diatribe? See, see, it's a very simple me. question. What was I, the land I, I, before I, they established Liberia? What was it? The land was Africa. Oh, Jesus. That's the question you asked. See, that's why I asked. So you're wrong. I asked specific questions. Africa is a continent. Is it not land? Are there countries in Africa? You, you didn't ask me what country. You said No, land. I said what was the land in before the, they established the country of Liberia? In the land. I'm talking that specific region there. Don't the act land, dumb. The land was Africa. Now I asked Jesus you, Christ. what country is I'm getting Liberia? ready. I'm getting ready to cut your ass off. I, I, I know, man, because I'm too powerful. I'm ready, no, because you're not answering my fucking question. I answered the question. How am, am I supposed to answer, answer it the way you what want? What was the region? Yes, you are. What was the region of that me? land before they called it Liberia? The land is the land of Africa, just like Peace. later. Anyway, <laughs> Jesus Christ, man! Is this dude? Is this dude still in the chat room? Is this dude still in the chat room? African first, Congolese second. Is this motherfucker still in the chat room? Kick his motherfucking ass out. The land is Africa. What kind of stupid motherfucker is this?
Oh, Lord. Well, that was a waste of time. Where's Minister DeWood? Or is there anybody else that got some fucking sense that I can talk to? Anybody? I think I put the link in the fucking chat room. Can somebody come in here so I could I don't lose my fucking mind dealing with these idiots? This dude is on my dick, man. I mean, it's fucking scary that you are on somebody's dick like this, jocking their live streams, trolling their fucking live streams every fucking time they do a live stream. Man, what are you? You think I'm cute, nigga? I hope that that nigga wasn't stroking off while we talking, man, because that's some bullshit. I'm, that's that's some really disturbing shit that you trolling and following dudes like this. The land is Africa. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, what's up, Darius? Hold on. Let me get you in here. <laughs> 